Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be swatching out the inks from this glass dip pen set from Axma. And I did an unboxing a couple of videos ago, and I do want to swatch out the colors. This particular set came with 12 different inks and two glass dip pens. So one of them my little favorite cat here as well as this other one another pretty one with the flower or the rose in there gives it sort of a three-dimensional look there that you can see so and it also came with a a pen pillow or a pen rest where you can go ahead and put the, the pen on there so let's go ahead and swatch this out. I had started to do it and then I wanted to video this. So I'm going to start with this first ink. And they are labeled with the color, which is nice. So this one is yellow. And it does have mica or like some gold, gold in there. So just going to mix it up. I also have a water brush because besides how it writes, I'm going to also test out the water solubility of the ink. So I have a water brush here um, you know, to test that out as well. So I'm just giving it a good shake. One thing I wanna do is, because this, this will come out here, um, you just have to be careful because you can get ink on your hands. Uh, you could probably use rubber gloves, but one thing I wanna try is putting some epoxy glue and just a little bit, uh, not epoxy glue, um, E6000, I should say, and see if that would work so that when I twist off the cap, this will come off with it. But I have here my watercolor rag, so I'm going to use that to take off the cap. I'm just going to place it in this bottle holder, and we'll get started. So I'm just dipping it in. I should show you here. I'm just dipping it in. It's hard to see with the camera. And so the grooves on the dip pen will hold that ink. So you just take it and just very lightly swipe it across the bottle. Again, it is glass, so you want to be gentle with it. And I had started writing yellow, but I'll go ahead and I'll do that again. This is not watercolor paper. So just look, some hatching marks. And you can turn the pen as you use it to get more ink flow to come on down. And let's see. So there's that. I like the way, like the sound of the pen as it goes across. So, and then just to, to, to take the ink off, you just dip it in water and s swirl it around and you can see here it comes right off. So that's one of the nice things about these dip pens and using it with the ink is that you can go from one color to the next really, really easily. All right, so I'm just gonna get my water brush and we'll test out, we'll swatch that out there. I have this sketchbook on a slanted drawing board just so that hopefully you can see it a little bit better. So I actually dipped my water brush into water rather than squeezing. So let's just take a look. So now you can really see the yellow there. It's a nice bright yellow. And of course, the more water you put, the more diluted it will be. Again, this is not watercolor paper, but I am going to be testing this out and um, you know, doing some drawings and paintings, so I hope you stay tuned for those. So that's the yellow, so now we'll go to the next color. The next color is orange. Again, these all have this gold shimmer in them, so I'm gonna mix it well, and then we'll swatch it out.
there is a little shimmer in the ink as well. Now with the water brush, let's dip a little bit more water. So I like that as well. Deep blue. Oh, this is a nice one. Very nice. Pink. Let's test out this pen with the flower. That's a pretty one too. This pen writes really well too. I also wanted to mention that when I dip the water brush, or not the water brush, but when I dip the pen to rinse off the ink, I do wipe it down with that dishcloth uh, to, to dry it off. So that's a very pretty pink. Red. It's a nice deep red. Let's see how it looks on paper. Very nice ruby red. And again, the pen writes really, really nice too. Nice and smooth. I'm looking forward to using this on watercolor paper. watercolor brush, dip a little bit more water. Yep, very nice. Green, and this set has a couple of different greens in here, so let's take a look at this one. It looks a nice bright green. Nice spring green is what it reminds me of. Again, just turn the pen in case you feel like you're running out of ink there. But that's a nice color as well for this green. Water swatch. 
I'm wondering again how this is going to look on watercolor paper because since this isn't, you know, you are getting those little divots here, but um, it is water soluble, which is really what I like. So let's see what the next one is. So we did green. This next one here now is Greg Green. So let's take a look at this one and Looks like an olive green, but we shall see what it swatches like. So this was called Greg Green, which almost looks like, yeah, looks like an olive green to me. like a yellowy green and again this isn't the best paper because it is pilling a little bit but just to give you an idea in case I do use it in this sketchbook I uh, don't necessarily have to always use water but that's part of the reason you you know if you have sketchbooks different papers it's always good to swatch out what you have just to see how they act on those papers or in those books. All right, next ink is called Dark Green. It reminds me of a Viridian Green. But it is a nice color. It's nice to have, you know, various greens, various colors, so that you can also mix mix them. That's what it reminds me of. Just watch it. That's a pretty green. The next ink is called Be, Be Love, Blove. As I mentioned when I first did the unboxing, I don't know if this was supposed to be like a blue olive, or but you can see from the bottle, I did already shake it. It has like a turquoise -y color. So let's take a look at this one. I'm interested to see what this looks like. Well, it does look pretty, so. That was its name. Yeah, it does look like a turquoise or a very pretty. And I'm um, turning the pen just to have the grooves draw down more ink. All right, I'm curious to see what this looks like once I add the water. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's very pretty. Like a cerulean blue. Be nice for skies or seas. Turquoise, very nice. Next ink is deep purple, and I believe there's two purples in this set, so that's also a nice to have. Okay, so deep purple. And again, these pens write really smooth on here. I like that. Very nice purple. 
So that was deep purple and this is purple. So let's see what the difference is. So here's purple. Oh yes, I could see the difference. This has more of a reddish in there and this really does looks like, you know, purple, like a lavender wisteria. Purpley. <laughs> Add some water. Yes, there's a definite difference between the deep purple and the purple. All right, our last ink is called black. It actually, maybe because of all the gold that's in there, it looks brownish. So let's take a look and see what this one looks like. All right, I switched back to my cat pen and this one is black. Yep, it's a true black. All right, let's watch out this last one. So that also worked well. So I have to say, I'm really happy with these. I'm going to test out a drawing and see what it looks like. But here are the colors again. So we have yellow, orange, deep blue, pink, red, green, Greg green, which to me looks like it's an olive, dark green, which kind of reminds me of Iridian, be love, I don't know, that looks turquoise to me, I'm not sure where, what be love means, but um, deep purple, which has a little bit of that red in there, kind of like a wine almost, uh, purple, and then black, and just wanted to also mention that, you know, again, just be careful, but this will wash out, you know, the ink on your hands, because when you, when you do go to open the cap, let's say you shake it, you can see that there's some ink that just remains there. And I ended up using a tissue. I was using the rag, but I decided to then use a tissue. So as I opened it, you know, you have all that there, but again, it will wash out. Um, came with the two pens. So I'm going to see about, um, I guess maybe doing a quick little drawing and I will show you that next. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to use watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm back and I really like the way this turned out. This is, I think it's Michael's brand Artist Loft watercolor paper. And First, what I did is I just drew out the, um, in the various colors here, pretty much this color here and the green going around, then did hatching lines, and then I used water, and I really love this effect here. So, really pretty. In some areas, you can see a little bit about the, a little bit of the gold shimmer, like a little bit here, but not, not that much. I see a little bit here. But I really like the way this turned out. Definitely recommend it. I hope you, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and I'll show, I'll do a tutorial. Maybe not, well, maybe on a hummingbird, maybe on something else. Um, but I really, really like the way this turned out. I hope you like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you would like me to do a tutorial on this or, you know, have you, if you have other ideas on things you would like to see uh, with this particular ink, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And again, this is swatching out and you know, drawing using the inks to draw that hummingbird and colored it in with Axma Axma Exquisite Gift Set with the glass dip pen. 
So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.